What's up, YouTube? This is Strader here, bringing you guys another Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi battle. And the reason I haven't been uploading battles and videos in general lately is because I've been a little bit busy lately. I had to take care of my mom and my brother because both of them recently had surgery done, so I had to help around the house and do shit. And also, like many of you, I had to start school again, and basically, I'm a little bit busy in my classes, but I'm still not busy enough to the point where I really can't do a whole lot with my hobbies, but... I don't know, I'm just lazy at uploading. That's the main f thing, I don't know. Today we got a Yu Yu match here against a guy named T-Star99. Took place on my stream a couple weeks ago. Basically, I brought a bunch of shit, he brought a bunch of shit. I'm using Kovalian, Mian Shao, a Milotic, Meloeta, a Chandelier, and a Shiftree. My opponent's using Dusclops, Kovalian, Shaman, Honchkrow, Empoleon, and a Victini. Main threat on his end is definitely going to be Victini because... It just hits like a fucking truck, no pun intended, by the way. It, it's just like, it can just destroy my team, so I have to watch out for that. So, without further ado, let us get off this battle, and I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm going to lead off with my Cobalion, and he's going to lead off with his Dusclops, which is pretty much what he was expecting me to lead with, so he's like, okay, I'm just going to lead off Dusclops in case he wants to lead off with, with his Cobalion or his Mianchao, which was a really good play, but... I'm just gonna go ahead, just go for a Stealth Rock, see what his Dust Clops wants to go for while getting up my hazards. He's gonna go for a Substitute here, which is like, well, shit, I gotta get out of here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, go for the Volt Switch, get some damage off on the Sub. Luckily, I get a crit. I don't think it really makes much of a difference at all, because next turn, my Chandler will be able to break it anyway. So I'm gonna go up to my Chandler here, and he's gonna go for a Nightshade. And he's gonna do a nice amount of HP damage to me. So I'm gonna go for Flame Charge, break his Sub. And I'm also going to get a plus one in speed, which is really nice. And now he's gonna, just going to go straight for another substitute. That way he can stall out my life orb recoil. Then he can KO me back with a nightshade. So here I'm just going to go ahead, just go for a shadow ball, easily break his sub. And here he made a really weird play. Like, he's going to go for a nightshade here instead of trying to go for it the very next turn. Which I really didn't understand why, because now as you can see, he's going to go out to his Empoleon here. And he's going to be taking unnecessary damage with his Empoleon when I go for the Fire Blast. Like, if he had gone for one more substitute that turn, then go for the um, Nightshade on the next turn, then he wouldn't be taking all this extra damage with his Empoleon. But at the cost of just a little extra HP with his Dust Clops, which I really don't see as a big of a deal because... I don't know, but whatever, so I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here because I expected him to try and set up his rocks knowing that he would die anyway, but he actually goes for an Ice Beam, which is just like, well, fuck, so now this is kind of a useless shift tree, but even if he didn't go for the Ice Beam, he still has the Cabalion, which would easily take me out, so I'm just going to go ahead just go for a Seed Bomb here, take out his Empoleon, and now he's just going to go ahead and just go straight out to his Cabalion this turn, and he's going to go for Close Combat. Obviously, I don't want to give him the Sucker Punch um, Justified Boost, so I'm just going to leave this in his fodder. That way, I can get a safe switch in out to my Mian Shao, threaten him out with a high jump kick, or possibly predict a switch out to his Dust Clops, then go for the U-turn and switch out to something that will properly take out his Dust Clops. So that's what I'm going to do next turn. Bring him my Mian Shao here. I obviously knew that he would go out to Dust Clops, expecting me to go for a high jump kick. Didn't want to play that risky, so I decided just U-turn out. Then I can go out to something that can take on this dust cloud. So, I believe I uh, U-turned out to my... I think I went out to my Milotic. I'm not really certain on this. No, I went out to my, um... Fucking Meloeta here. Which is Choice Specs Meloeta, by the way. Gonna go for a Shadow Ball. Easily take out that dust cloud. So don't gotta worry about that anymore. So, down goes his... One of his primary walls. Primary walls. Yeah, same thing, but... He's gonna go out to his Honchkrow here, obviously knew that the Sucker Punch was coming, or the possible Brave Bird. So I knew the best thing to take it would obviously be my Cobalion, because I am max- I think I'm like max defense, I don't know, but... He's gonna go for a Sucker Punch, nothing happens, that's pretty good I guess, so... Now I'm just gonna go for a Volt Switch, and I really don't understand why he stayed in, I was thinking at the time, why the fuck would you do that, because then you're taking unnecessary Volt Switch damage, like hello. But then again, I, I remember that Honchkrow has access to superpower, which would make more sense. As he does go for the superpower this turn, so... Now the superpower is just gonna do some damage to my di- My- Fuck! 
I don't even know what I said there. <laughs> He's just gonna go for super power on my Milotic, and it's gonna deal some nice amount of damage to me. So He's going to go for the Drill Peck here, which really made no sense, because if I were him, I would carry the Brave Bird. I don't care about taking recoil from the Brave Bird. I want damage on my opponent. I really didn't understand the point of Drill Peck, but whatever. I'm going to take him out with Skeleton nonetheless. Then he's going to go out to his Shaman, and obviously he's going to try and threaten me out with a Seed Flare. So I was like, okay, I know I can just go out to Kabalian, take the Seed Flare, then scare him out. But he actually predicts my switch out to Kabalian very nicely, he goes for the Earth Power, that's going to deal a nice amount of damage to me, and that'll be a nice little 2-hit KO. So, I believe this turn I just went for a Secret Sword, trying to get some damage off on his Shaman, and that really didn't do as much as I anticipated. I thought it might have been like a 2-hit KO from the range Shaman was at, but looks like more like a 3-hit KO, which really sucks, so whatever, but... He's going to take on my Kovalian, I'm just going to go ahead and just go straight out to my Meloeta. And he's going to go out to his Victini here, and I really should have gone for the Shadow Ball. I expected him to go out to his Kovalian, expecting me to go for a Shadow Ball, but I don't know. I wanted to make the better play by going for a Psychic. I really don't understand why I didn't go for Shadow Ball, though. Like, hello! Victini could have been obvious, but... Now I'm just going to have to fodder something off to this Victini, I'm just going to switch into my, my Lodic. Down goes my Milotic, and then I get a free switch out to my Mianxiao or my Meloeta. this case I decided to go out to my um, Mianxiao because I knew nothing on his team would like to take a high jump kick, then he could just fight off his Victini, and then I could possibly sweep him with either my Mianxiao or my Meloeta. but no, I have to miss the fucking high jump kick, then he's gonna take me out with a V-Create, which is just like, what the hell? So, down goes my Mianxiao, and the only Pokemon I have left on my team is my Meloeta. so now it's just like... I gotta rely on a Choice Specs Meloway to sweep his whole team, so it's just like, the chances of that are pretty slim, but so, I'm just gonna go ahead and just go for Psychic, because at minus two special defense, I know I can still take him out, and switching out at, this, at that point made no sense, because he's at minus two special defense, and then he wouldn't get a free switch out to his Shaman or his Cobalion, so it would make more sense to just fodder it off, so. He's gonna go out to Shaman here, miss Seed Flare, which kinda mattered because if he did hit the Seed Flare, I would've taken some damage, then he could just bring in Kobali in the next turn, and then close combat me for game, but unfortunately for him, that's not the case, I'm able, able to take out a Shaman, then he's gonna go out to Kobali, and so for some reason he goes for a Sword Stance instead of the um, close combat, maybe he didn't know at the time that I wouldn't die to the close combat, so he thought he would have to go for a Sword Stance, then close combat me for game, and he thought he might have been able to live a Psychic. That's not the case, though, because I am modest choice specs, so there's really no no way in hell you're going to survive that. But that's the end of the match. That was GG, guy. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that battle. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and as always, hit that subscribe button. Don't know what I'm going to upload next, but it'll probably be a Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling Network video because I've been playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! lately, as you all know, and it's fun. And yeah, so that's what I got planned. Hope guys enjoyed, blah blah blah, do what you gotta do, and I'm done rambling and shit. This is Strato signing out, and ciao.